Hey guys, Dr. Jackie with Athletes Potential. I want to talk to you today about tennis elbows. So elbow pain on the outside, very common in tennis players. Also sometimes in weightlifters and folks who work with their hands a lot, um, but it is classically called tennis elbow. Okay, so there's two ways that your elbow can give you trouble. Sometimes it is purely muscular, which is what we think of when we think of tennis elbow. There can also be some nerve involvement. So just a little bit of irritation of the nerve that sends a more diffuse pain in that area. So you might be massaging in there, exercising, it'll get better. I'll show you how to address that. But first we're gonna do one that is purely muscular. So if you're doing a lot of gripping sports, a lot of gripping with weightlifting or tennis, you're gonna feel a lot of muscle tension here. So we're gonna get Jake to do a lateral elbow release. So you want a lacrosse ball, we're gonna aim for this big mass on the outside of your elbow. Okay, if you think about bringing your wrist up this way, you can feel it flex there so you know that you're in the right spot. So what it looks like, you can use a bench if you're at home, like the countertop in the kitchen, something like the island. But we want you to position, so you'll go ahead and kneel down. We want you to position so that you can have your arm over the edge and your wrist free. So he's gonna get the ball here. He's gonna pin the ball in that lateral mass that we were talking about. If you feel like you need more pressure, you can kind of put your hand down, put body weight through it. But I want you to find the sweet spot, the little gold nugget in there, and then we're gonna go through wrist flexion and extension, so just up and down nice and slow. All right, so we're tacking the muscle down at one spot and then pulling it through range. And don't, don't um, worry about if you wanna move out to other areas, there's not only just one spot that can feel like it's being productive, so kind of search and find all in the area on the outside of your elbow. So go for about two minutes of that. You can change positions to kind of rotate wrist around. Any wrist movement's fair game. All right, so try that one out. If that does not help you or if it doesn't nix the problem completely, you might need a nerve by it. Okay, so the radial nerve is a nerve that exits your spine and it comes down through your shoulder and it crosses the elbow about right here and then goes to your hand. So some folks it's elbow pain, sometimes it's wrist pain, or sometimes it's diffuse. This is really common with tennis folks I see a lot. So what we're going to do is actually get the radial nerve gliding through the area of the anatomy that it goes. It might be impinged, so we're going to try to fix that. Okay, so this is what it looks like. The setup's a little bit intricate. What you want to do first is you're going to make a fist with your thumb on the inside and then you're going to straighten your arm at your side and turn your palm behind you. From there, he's gonna flex it up this way. So you see this position, he turned and it's like he's giving me a tip. It's called the waiter's tip position, right? Like you're sneaking someone a tip behind you. Once you get in this position, you wanna try to keep your shoulders as relaxed as possible. We see a lot of people like hike it up. So they get really, really tense. It's gonna change what you're feeling. So we have the arm twisted around. And from here, he's gonna slowly bring his arm up to the side until he feels a moderate, like five out of 10 tension or pull along the path of where he's usually feeling his pain. All right, so he's going to go about a second into moderate tension and then a second all the way out of tension. Zero out of ten feeling there. Okay, five out of ten, zero out of ten. So just like that, he's going to do that about 15 or 20 times and then go play tennis. Go weightlift and see how it feels. This is not something you want to overcook, right? A hundred of these a day won't make you any better or faster. can actually irritate it. So start with 15 or 20 once a day and then from there you can increase and see how it feels. All right, guys? So for tennis elbow, you can attack the muscle, get more soft tissue release of the cross ball, or you have that nerve bind to decrease some of that more diffuse and achy symptoms. All right, so if you've been dealing with this for a long time, try these two out. If that still doesn't help it out for you, come see the athlete potential and we'll take care of you, okay? Thanks.